Morning, this is Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. I finally set the date on my calendar, on my weather station. Um, sunny today with uh, 64 degrees already at 11 a.m. Uh, 74 inside. Gonna shut off. I've had, got the propane standby heater because of the birds upstairs. And uh, upstairs is probably around 80 some degrees, so they're they're doing better with uh, less heat, and that's good. Um, been working on videos and a bunch of admin work and all the chores and everything around the property. So let's go have a look at the solar today. Nope, tripped over my camera tripod. One of the things that's always part of the house. Let's see, we got. Focus. Only 8 amps right now, but the sun is not yet fully on the solar panels. Um, might have to take the insulation off of the battery because it's 80 degrees. So uh, now we're going a little on the high side, funny enough. So it's time to strip that insulation off. And, and it'll look nicer back there anyway. <laughs> a lot better because that is ugly. So I got the modem on, I'll probably leave that on. I'm going to start leaving the modem on more often anyway. I do have more sunlight hours and more power coming in and I've got to get the um, IP cameras back online and the weather station back online as I always wanted to do now that uh, the batteries are warming up and I'll start having more power. Hopefully by next winter I will have all of my solar panels properly hooked up on rotating platforms that are adjustable to angle manually into the seasonal sun as needed. Yeah, that's a, uh, something I'm still planning. I am not an engineer. The winds out here are furious and destructive. And so I've really got to be careful what I build out here. And um, it's, that's, that's the biggest issue of why... I haven't properly hooked up to solar panels myself. Sure I could go out and buy poles and cement and digging and earth moving equipment and spend ten thousand dollars to mount them but I don't have it. So I've got to come up with ways to do it myself. And I haven't figured that out yet. That's why they're just propped up. But we'll get it. Definitely working on ideas. So going to work on the chicken tractor today. Uh, hopefully I'll have that finished today and get some wheels on it and moving on over to the other side of the meadow where the chickens will be able to have their own life in their own home and then I'll have to run the electric fence around it. I'll branch and tap off is what I'm going to do and have the fence running around it because the raccoons are very very bad out here. They are brutal. Well, I'm going to get to it. Well, it's quite a beautiful day today and uh, sorry I didn't uh, show you what I was doing so far I was just experimenting I wasn't quite sure myself what I was doing as I said I'm making this up as I go along uh, what I did just now is I simply put on the hinges so I have an idea how this door is going to be made so again I'm not, a, I'm not an expert I'm not a carpenter I did not make plans I'm just putting it together because I'm using junk, I'm using garbage laying around as I go to make this up, so the plan evolves as I find materials. Well anyway, there's the flap of the door, there's the hinges. Now what I'm going to do is build this door from the inside out basically. So this door is going to start being built just like this. And it's going to make it easier by building the frame inside the door itself. Or inside the chicken coop. So I've got to use screws for strength on the door. I just don't trust the nails as much on this. I'm running out of materials, construction materials. But 
screws are better, especially on something that's going to be moving a lot. Up and down, open and close. So now what we've got is, see the door sh taking shape? Now the reason I, I, I gave, I had to think about it overnight, because the reason is, this last piece needs to hang over the bottom here to make rain run off. See, that's, that's the important thing. And um, it's awkward with this as well. I'm gonna have the overhang, but now I've gotta start angling them outwards. And um, it, it, it required some thinking to figure this out. So now, this next piece goes on here. And this is, I think I'm going to use a longer one on the bottom. I'm going to have to go get a longer board. Oh wait, here's one. I'm going to have to cut them. Yeah, I'm going to have to measure and cut these. Because what I want now is a piece that's going to overhang nicely on the bottom here. This is the final runoff and then the rest to be angled and then I'll have one over here on top of all of this so that any water comes on down. Now I can use the the leftover tar paper up coming from here over the top of all of this to protect it from the elements. So I've got to measure and cut this. Take the nails out. Works beautifully as a nail or as a uh, uh, pencil when you need one. Okay. Now, this is better. I want that nice overhang there. Nice amount of overhang. piece is going to get screwed on. There we go. Now my door is starting to come together. coming together here, see? With the right overhang. And then the trim is gonna be on, on the door itself. And that'll lift up with the door over here. And that'll cover this gap and allow it to make a seal when it's closed. So it's all gonna work out here. On these rougher cracked edge boards, I put the cracked part on the overhang. So there's no harm there.
locks it in nicely to the other one. Of course, if I had nice, neat, beautiful new lumber, this would be done. But then it wouldn't be a, a budget DIY. Oops, cracked in and out. I'm going to have to oil soak these nicely to preserve them. You won't even notice it's a door except for the overhang I'm going to have on it. Hopefully that'll be enough to trick out the raccoons as well. Don't want them to know. crooked. Let's straighten that line out. thumb is healed up nicely. It's still sore when I bump it, but uh, the skin grafted on. Totally. I did not expect that end to graft on. I really thought it would fall off. It's been about two weeks, and uh, as I said, it's sensitive, but it's healed. It's closed up, and I'm working on it without much hesitation now. Again, I'm sure others would do it differently, but there's the access door. It's heavy. I don't think a raccoon's going to lift that up very easily. Now, far as I can get it. Let that overhang. That'll just flex and move. I don't have my stapler. Do I? No. I thought I had it up here. Alright, I'm going to put a couple staples in that and I'll be back in a minute.
Yeah. Need a board just a little bit wider than that. I'll be back. <laughs> 